right, you are looking at the latest and greatest belt drive. And looks like it's gonna work. We're about ready to give it a try, put it on the bike and see. Now what I've done here is uh, this is a new uh, sick bike parts shift kit bracket uh, and assembly. And uh, I have uh, ordered uh, just an off the shelf uh, belt sprocket uh, to fit their shaft, 5H shaft, and uh, a sprocket off of the Groovy four stroke motor uh, drive sprocket. And it doesn't, it's not a direct easy fit, but what I've done is if you can see in here, this is a flat spot. So on the keyway, on the output shaft, I filed a, uh, filed a flat spot on it, and it slid right on. And then it comes with a set screw. There we go. Um, to lock it down. And then uh, that is just enough clearance for the clutch cover plate. Fits on there nicely. And looks like I think it's going to work out great. Now, to make the, uh, to get the belt tension that I wanted, hopefully this is a set it and forget it. Uh, so what we're uh, hoping to achieve here is uh, higher efficiency of uh, power, uh, better use, a uh, quieter belt drive, no grease, no oiling, no, no chain stretch. No going back with tensioners or shims in this case. And uh, the only thing I had to do to make this belt fit is grind down their spacer block. And I took about uh, maybe about an eighth, sixteenth or an eighth off this block. And that's a real uh, touch and go, uh, grind and fit, grind and fit, but it wasn't more than uh, an eighth of an inch. and. I got the tightness that I want. So there you have it. We're going to um, mount this baby up and see how she works from there.